Hey, my name is Shirley. I am an incoming first year medical student who will be starting classes next month. I applied to medical schools with a GPA ranging from 3.1 to 3.3, depending on how my classes were calculated, and I had an MCAT score of 512, which is one point above the national average of applicants that were accepted into MD programs. However, my GPA was definitely below the average of every single medical school that I applied to. In fact, for the medical school that I will be attending, my GPA was below the 10th percentile of the range of accepted students. All this to say that I am very fortunate to have been accepted and that I hope by sharing this journey, I'm able to encourage those of you out there who are also applying or will be applying in the future, especially if you have less than stellar stats. Yes, your GPA and MCAT are very important factors in terms of determining your chance of getting accepted into medical schools, but they're not the sole components considered. This process can be a very tough one, so for all those that are applying, I wish you the best of luck. If you would like any advice, you can check out the videos on the rest of my channel. I will also be making future videos regarding interview tips, extracurricular activities, etc. Alright, so last cycle I submitted secondaries to 7 DO schools and 11 MD schools. The 7 DO schools that I submitted secondaries to were Midwestern University at both the Chicago and Arizona campuses. I was accepted to the Arizona campus and rejected from the Chicago one. Western U Pomona campus, which I was accepted to. California Health Sciences University, which I received an interview invite from, but I declined since by that time I'd already been accepted to Western. LeCom for both the Bradenton and Season Hill campuses. I was rejected by Bradenton, and I was offered a spot on the waitlist for Seton Hill, which I declined because by that time I'd already been accepted to Western. Lincoln Memorial University. I received an email in November from their university saying that they were still considering my application, so I replied back to let them know that I would like to withdraw my application since I'd already been accepted at that point and I didn't want to potentially take an interview spot from someone else. Also, I never understood why some medical schools would send me an email just to say that they're still considering my application. If I see an email and the subject reads medical school application update, I'm expecting an actual update like an interview invite or just a plain out rejection. Telling me that they're still considering me is something I already know it does not count as an update. Anyway, the 11 MD schools that I submitted secondaries to included Albany, Kaiser, UC Davis, UC Irvine, UC San Diego, University of Minnesota, NYU Long Island, Tufts, and Rochester, all of which I was rejected from. I also applied to Drexel, which put my application on hold in November, and I have been ghosted since. And finally, I applied to California University of Science and Medicine, which I have been accepted to. I actually didn't receive my interview invite from CUSM until March, and I didn't interview until April. I had actually accepted that I would be going to Western U at that point, which I was very grateful for because it is my top choice DL school. So for those of you who don't receive interview invites as soon as you would like, please keep in mind that so long as you have not been rejected, there's still a chance that you can get in. So to summarize, out of the four medical school interviews that I attended, I was accepted to three of them and whitelisted at the last one. I'll be making a future video in regards to interview tips, especially with how many of the interviews in the future will be online due to COVID. My interview with CUSM was actually online because by April, quarantine in LA was in full force. So where did I decide to go? After taking various considerations into account, I've decided that CUSM is the best medical school for me. I'll be starting classes next month, which is simultaneously nerve-wracking and exciting. I'll be starting my medical journey soon, and I hope that you'll decide to follow along. All right, I'll see you next Sunday. Until then, I surely hope that you'll take care of your health.